haven't met yet, I'm Dr. Kathy Youngkaitis, Director of UIC's Advanced Population Health Nursing DNP program. I'm glad you're interested in finding out more about our program, and I invite you to visit our webpage, which can be found at www.nursing.uic.edu for more specific information. In a nutshell, our APHN program prepares nurses to improve the health of populations where people live, learn, play, and work. This means when you're a student in our specialty, you'll learn about a systems level approach to addressing a problem of a population. A population could be a group in a particular town or neighborhood, or it could be a group of people with a, the same concern. It could be a typical health concern like diabetes, or it could be what some people call a social concern like homelessness. We know that social concerns, often called the social determinants of health, impact health. And so in this specialty, we learn about how to address issues experienced by populations using a systems approach. I'm often asked which, where individuals in our APHM program practice. Well, they practice in institutions of higher education, in hospital settings, governmental agency, advocacy organizations, correctional facilities, doing things like health promotion programming, disaster management, infectious disease and communicable disease um, testing, and uh, global health. They work in environmental and occupational health. So what is the APHN DNP? Well, it's a systems-focused DNP program geared at addressing those social determinants of health using that upstream approach. So if you see any words in that word cloud on the slide that call out to you, then the APHN DNP is probably right for you. Our program is for BSN or MSN prepared nurses, and depending on your preparation, it'll take between two to three and a half years of part-time study. Part-time means two courses in each of our semesters, so fall, spring, and summer. We offer online coursework that can work with your busy schedule. The college has made a commitment to having all of our core courses online, and as a program, we've continued that commitment, making the didactic coursework available online as well. Of course, the practicums are not all online, and we've created some online learning uh, practicum experiences, but students will have to be out working with populations for the specialty courses and the DNP project, which you conduct in the final semesters of your coursework. All student practicums and the DNP project address those population-based uh, concerns or groups as we talked about, and we'll work with you to identify your practicum site. You don't have to do this alone. By the time you graduate, you will need to have accrued 1,000 hours of uh, clinical time. And if you have graduate clinical hours that are leadership or population focused, we can generally count those towards those 1,000 hours. I really hope that this presentation has piqued your interest and that you'll check out our site or send me an email. The application link is at the top of this slide, and my email is just below my name. My name is Cindy, and I have been a nurse for 10 years now. Hard to believe, but it's been 10 years. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Molly Hoffman, and I am a summer 2021 uh, graduate of the UIC DNP program. Um, I graduated from UIC with my bachelor's in 2012. I soon after uh, went directly to working in yeah. Mount Sinai Hospital, which is in the west side of Chicago, um, level one trauma center. Um, I worked there for about seven years. After that, I transitioned over into a full-time student for my DMP program in advanced population health. Since 2016, I've been working for the University of Illinois Chicago with a program called the Division of Specialized Care for Children. And um, in 2020 was um, promoted to the Director of Care Coordination Systems Development and Education. And um, I now uh, have the pleasure of working with uh, three, soon to be four, programs of care coordination, our quality improvement program, our training and education programs, and our uh, responsibilities as the state's Title V program, uh, working with children and youth with special health care needs from a systems of care and a public health standpoint. That it opens up so many doors and it gives you so many opportunities that I never in a million years thought that I would be 
brave enough or confident enough to try out for. I am learning so many things, but I'm also applying them at the same time, simultaneously. Um, and that has been such an amazing thing um, to be able to really translate what I'm learning into my career currently. The APHN program really helped um, to provide um, a learning opportunity or more exposure to such a diverse array of topics that are so relevant to our work in so many different ways, while also still thinking about the clinical picture of the patient population that we're working with. I very much appreciated that the instructors for the different classes really pushed critical thinking along with learning the different concepts throughout the classes. Um, I found personally that as I was learning more about those different topics that I was able to apply them in a different way in my work and what I maybe had thought about previously and also could think about that and um, extending some of that with my team. Trust yourself and go for it. And if you really want to make an impact, if you really want to leave a mark in your community and make a difference, this is the program. <laughs> um, I think one of the most important things for anybody as you're starting any new program is stay organized, plan ahead, communicate with one another and lean on one another. You'll see that you have a great support through the UIC community here.